Marissa from Oasis here. Um, I'm just going to post a video today and show you how to do an easy Japanese art form called hepa zoning. It involves um, pressing leaves with a hammer and to get out prints from it. Okay, so this is the finished product that we're aiming for today. Okay, as you can see, I've used a n there's a number of different different patterns in the leaves here. Okay, and also in the flowers. It's very beautiful when it's finished. You can um, use it for all sorts of things. You can hang it like this inside. Oh, it's a bit blowy in the wind. Okay. Um, or you could cut out pieces and use them on cards. Okay. Now I'm going to show you some of the things that we're going to need today. I've collected some um, bits, lovely flowers and leaves from outside. Um, this one especially here um, is a really good shape because it's nice and soft. Right, so you don't have to bang it too much and also it comes up as a really lovely shape in the, a lot of it is about trial and error and finding the things that you can find nice shapes of these here are lovely this is sage okay so these leaves are quite moist when you touch them so you don't want to use something too waxy okay so there's petals here from the flowers okay a nice red leaf so you can go to the park and choose a few things don't pick too many flowers okay trying to get more leaf shapes okay and try and go for little ones not big ones okay some of the things we're going to need to do the activity is some fabric so a nice long piece of fabric like this which is white a heavier cotton does the job okay but you can do light use light stuff as well but i find like a sort of medium cotton should i say is much better okay a couple of pieces of cardboard over here okay and then a mallet if you don't have a mallet um you could use um uh maybe an end of a, a, like a meat cleaver if it didn't have a serrated edge or you could try with a hammer but the nice thing about a mallet it has this has a rounder longer surface on it okay right the next bit is going to be for me to show you how to do it so this is the first of all we're going to start with a nice flat surface you can use the ground by like using a log or you can use a nice flat table we're going to lay a piece of cardboard down the bottom on the bottom here okay that's my flat right and then we're going to place a material on top okay we're going to start by using a sage leaf okay so you can see the nice print in here this is what we're aiming for we're going to do it face side down okay you're going to get two prints and then you're going to fold the fabric over like this you can sort of see it through coming through here okay if it's windy when you're doing it you can put another leaf Board on top but I tend to like to do it here so I can see so for little hands that would be good popping here and banging but I tend to like to do it like this so it opens so I can see the shape coming out then I take my mallet here watch out fingers for fingers so little hands might be better with the cardboard and then banging it and see how you can see the pattern of the leaf coming through okay the secret with this is not to not to hit it too much okay especially the flowers that no use says now you can see it here so you can see them in little pieces here which aren't quite done so use the side of your hammer or mallet and just little taps okay the secret with this is lots of patience okay just like bang 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 done so little bits here because we don't want to scrush mush the leaf too much we want that pattern to come out okay and okay and then we're going to fold one over here see how we've gone okay so this side's left with the leaf so we can peel it off okay and you can see the nice pattern over here and this one's come out of more of a thicker block so we can scrape it off okay so now we can work through so now we have two patterns so you could cut this piece in half and use two different bits or you can make one whole bit i'm going to show you how to do a flower now okay with the flower here this is the one I love before, a little pansy. Okay, we're going to face it, face it down on this side. Okay, right, try and get as flat as possible. And then we're just going to fold our fabric over again so we can get a pattern opposite on the other side. You can see it in here. Right, I'm going to show you with little hands now. So we're going to put the cardboard on the corner and that's where we're going to focus hitting. Giving it eight bangs and then we can check okay and then we can finish it off by using it lightly doing the last little bit to get the corners out a 
Okay, sunflowers go really mushy. So again, it's trial and error. This one, pansies are lovely. Rose petals will just go as a flat block. Okay. And then we're going to scrape this off on this side this time. Okay, and let's lift up as a lovely little shape here. Okay, one more. Let's try a different shape. This red leaf and see what happens here. Face side down with the veins going up. Actually, we won't. Yeah, let's try this one and see how it goes. It's a bit waxy, but we'll experiment. Okay, you can sit underneath. Okay, if you can find a nice red leaf that's soft and not too waxy, it's lovely because it gives you that variation of colour. Little taps in there. Can you see the little lines coming out? Okay, so I didn't quite finish it there. I should have carried on a bit further and pull it off that side. Okay, so I just want to show you on what this one here that I did before, again, this one was a buttercup, okay? This one was a pansy. This is a rose petal. Okay, so if you're looking for like blocks of color, these are really nice, like a rose petal. Okay, this was a sage and that was a field geranium. So it's all about experimenting. I'm gonna cut this off now and use this to make on the outside of card, okay? But I hope you've enjoyed it. Now, when you want to wash it, that's a lot of things people ask me all the time, is wash it in salt water. I wouldn't go washing it a lot. It's not going to fix that well. Okay, so it makes really lovely cards or things for the wall. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the video. Enjoy and happy hammering.